Another useful ability to transform data is the transpose function. So if we've got a data set like this and it looks like it's been set up with these headings, so these are other destination networks of phone calls, we perhaps want this to run down here and these headings to run across the top. So instead of manually doing the whole lot, make sure it's in a table format, kind of put it into table arrange. So there we go, we've got that. So we want this to appear down here. Under transform, you'll see there's a button called transpose. Now transpose does the whole thing, so it doesn't, you don't really need to tell it all the columns. So let's just click transpose. If you look there, it seems to have done it, but where's all our names gone? MTN, etc. So let's just remove that. The problem here is anything sitting in the header won't be treated correctly. So for transpose, if you've got these as headers, the first thing you need to do is go and tell it to not be a header. So use headers as first row. So you'll see now it's in its own line. Now we can go and say transpose. And now you can see we've now got it going this way. Conveniently, there are the actual headers we want. So now that we're happy with that, we can maybe go and put them back up as headers. So sometimes you need to take headers, put them back into the data, do something, then put it back up. And you'll see that is perhaps more in line with what we want for the transpose.